Hi, Sulmita. Good night. How are you, girl? Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good? Mm, I'm fine, teacher. That's cool. But you are tired, I suppose. Yeah, I am tired, but... Yeah. <laughs> But you're here, which is wonderful. Yeah. How was your day, Sulmita? What did you do today? It was so good. Was it good? A lot of clients? Uh, no. I oh, have to say it? vacío. Empty. Today, today it was empty. Empty? Why? I don't know why. I think oh. it's because people... Uh, don't have money that could be one of the reasons yes yeah. but it's really weird right because most of the time the supermarkets are um, crowded right With yeah a lot of people mm -hmm. but but uh, sometimes sometimes okay yeah because when 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 there are a lot of offers for example the mm -hmm. price are very cheaper the supermarket is very crowded. Ah, when the prices are cheaper. That, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. The, uh -huh. the prices are uh, two, por, two by one. Two by one. Oh, yeah. that's the reason why. In which supermarket do you work for? Uh, what's the name of the supermarket? Uh, Super Selectus. Oh, the Selectus one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really tight. I know it's really tired. I understand that. Yeah, of course. I bought my um I always buy my pets food there. Really? <laughs> yes, especially whiskeys because he's older, right? So it's the yeah. only place I can find his uh food. So it's special food. Uh, yeah, because there are different different foods and well, different brands. Well, I I I only I only give them one brand, but um, since whiskey is, for example, set eight years old, he needs like a senior food for for dogs. So that is the only place that I can find uh senior food for him. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's because he's on he's already uh <laughs> what we what we said here in El in El Salvador de la tercera edad. Okay. <laughs> yes, because he is like eight years old, right? If you multiply it eight uh, by seven, which is uh, each year per dog is seven years, equals seven years of humans. So he's like 56, right? Almost like that. Almost 60. <laughs> Can you imagine? Whiskey is older than his mom and his dad. Ah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Amazing. So that, that's why I had to go there because that's the only place that I can find his special food. I had uh, to okay. give him a special food right now. I had to change his diet. Well, even though he's still fat, you know, he's fat. Huh. Because he loves to eat pupusas, tamales. Uh, what else? He likes quesadilla. Oh, my God. <gasps> you cannot imagine. He's the perfect customer for the quesadillas girl who passed in front of my neighborhood. When she starts singing, quesadillas, quesadillas, whiskey starts singing like, oh, like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means that he's asking for his quesadillas. But can you imagine if I buy him quesadillas every day? He will be like, <laughs> like sumo, right? So no way. I told him, no, today, <laughs> no, only once a week, okay? And he's like, like that right because he's a schnauzer so he's like this when i told him that but every time that he the quesadillas girl passed she's like he's like this and you, like that <laughs> yeah he's asking for his favorite dessert quesadilla and also chestnut because it's just whiskey son they love both they love quesadillas by heart and when the quesadillas girl approached to the garage she said oh these are my two little bodies 
my two uh, uh, VIP customers. <laughs> yeah, actually. So can you imagine a dog likes Kezadi? He does. He's his favorite uh, sweet bread, if we can say that. Can you imagine? Oh, no. They're really picky. And they love sushi. Can you imagine that? They love sushi. Another. <laughs> yeah, another one. T Tanya, we're talking about uh, food and everything. And that my dog loves quesadilla by heart. Yeah. Oh, my yes. God, Tanya. You look so beautiful. Well, you always look beautiful. But today you look beautiful. You have makeup, right? I have makeup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. A little, a little bit. No, I know, but it changes completely. <laughs> you see? That's really fun to be a girl, right? Oh, I love to be a girl. Yeah. <laughs> because we can dress, we can uh, do something with our hair or makeup. And even though if we put some makeup, we change completely, right? We are beautiful, <laughs> but we are more beautiful. Yeah. Okay, thanks. That's, yeah. <laughs> and if you iron your hair also, you look fantastic. You're like, Maybe you can get you could be a little bit younger. Well, that's why they said they said, Hey, yeah. when I when I iron my hair, they said, oh, How old are you? And I was like, Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have asked me, Hey, you look younger. They're like, oh, thank you so much. So maybe one time I will iron my hair because he is for me, it's really um hot. I don't know where you are right now, girls, but here it's hot for me. Outside is cold because it's windy, but inside the house is really hot. So my hair doesn't go along well with hot weather. It gets like curly. So if I iron my hair, it will be a complete disaster because it's a waste of time. Yeah, my hair is really fun and happy and beautiful in cold weather, but not in hot weather. It's terrible. What about you? Tell me. Is it good? Your hair, it looks good. Bet oh, it's better in hot or cold weather? Nothing? When it's hot, teacher. When, when it's, it's hot. When it's cold, my hair is like this. Oh, do you have a dry hair? Yeah. Oh, that's the reason why. Yes. So my one is the opposite way. I don't have a dry hair. Mm. Ah, so that the happy Straight hair, right, teacher? What? Straight hair? You? Eh, uh, not really. <laughs> my hair is crazy. <laughs> Like the teacher, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> well, you know what? During the time, my hair has changed because of when I was really uh, younger, um, my hair was were like stress, if I can say that. In my middle age, uh, they were like wavy. And right now, here is like curly. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I have a uh, friend who has a hair salon. And she said that as a woman, we have many changes in our life, right? So every decade, we change completely. And also, our hair changed completely as well. So that's why we need to take vitamins and all the stuff. So now, no, I wish I could have a straight hair. I love a straight hair, my heart. But I have a friend who has a, a hair like the Jackson 5, like Diana Rose. <laughs> and she loves her, her curly ones. Oh, she's completely curly. You cannot imagine. But she looks fantastic. It's part of her personality. She's like this all the time. <laughs> now let's listen to Tanya. Tanya, what about you? Is your Does your hair look fine in the cold weather or in the hot weather? Um, in the cold weather. In the cold weather. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What about you, Zulmite? This is a girl's topic. In my case, it's... Uh... It's a hot, hot weather because uh -huh. yeah, because my 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 hair is like a curly, a curly like Natty's. Yeah, but a little is. It's completely curly. It's a little bit. Oh, so, oh, so no. it's wavy. Yeah, wavy. Wavy, wavy. All righty. Okay, and you have a long hair or short or hair? Long hair. Long hair. But in my case, in my case, teacher, I like to 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 face it because I don't know why when you when you uh, when you when you have the straight hair mm -hmm. and is 
uh, I look very different. Yeah, that's you see, that's true, right? Totally different. Yeah. We should have a day, girl, that every all of us will have like iron our hair, and you will see <laughs> that will it will be like a girl's day. That would be amazing. Yeah, and mm -hmm. while we're talking about that, hey, Ani Anita is here. Why, girls? Yeah. Because this is part, for example, of our changes, and especially we really care when we are going to get married, right? Do you remember that day, Tanya? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yes. You see, that was yeah. a really special day for us, right? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Anati? Are you married? No, teacher. I'm oh, not. Okay, not yet. So, <laughs> but well, but in the future, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah maybe. Well, Sulmita is not married either, right? No. No. It's okay. So we have two single girls and two <laughs> married women. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So girls, you can uh, also Tanya, you can you can tell. Or you can say that a wedding day is really special, right? Yeah. It's really special for many reasons. Not only because that day will look amazing and we we'll do whatever it takes as possible to look like princess, right? And also like, yeah. and the guys will I... be like, sure, like a princess for us. Yeah, guess, go ahead, Solmita. I, uh, I, I imagine the dress Oh yeah, I, uh -huh. I want to. That dress is the most important thing for. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yes, yes, of course. We look for everything we ask. In your makeup. In our makeup, exactly. No, you know what? That is like a, takes a long time of preparation, right? Yeah, many months prior to the wedding day. There's a lot of things involved, and there's a lot of people involved as well. The family from the two sides, from the guy, from the girl, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of planification, right, Tanya? It's not as easy as it yeah. is. And, yeah, and you have your own budget. So each family has their own budget, and depends on that, you have to like mm, do the arrangements about the, where you're going to get married, about the press, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, but you know what? Uh, I was doing a little bit search, and uh, basically, in in every country they had their own um we can say like their own way that they celebrate the weddings it's really interesting you know if you click for example you search a uh, wedding days traditions or traditions of wedding days in many countries you will see that they're like oh, there are a lot of that you're like, what are you serious Thanks God I'm not living there, you said. <laughs> yes, but today I want you guys, we're going to start developing our listening skill because we have been talking, remember girls, about holidays, right? About holidays, about festivals, about special days, etc. So today we're going to start with the listening part and we're going to talk about basically um, a wedding day. But this is going to be like a conversation, like a conversation between two friends, two girlfriends. So imagine Nati and Tanya, for example, and Sulmita and me. <laughs> yes. And we're going to open to open our wedding book. And you start searching for photos. And maybe uh, Nati, you're, you're going to be one of them. You'll see. I, we're going to practice later on. But I want you guys to try to imagine how the girl that is already married describing to the other girl how was her wedding. That will be amazing. And I want you guys to pay attention on the details, or maybe a, if you can find something different, a tradition different from El Salvador, or something in common. That might be. I don't know. Well, I know, but I'm not going to let you know. <laughs> okay. So, okay, I'm going to play it one more time and just try to think about um, how she described her wedding, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. There you go. And let me know, guys, if you are able to see it. Are you able to see it right now? Yeah. In a little blurry, teacher. Oh, okay. But I, uh, as long as you listen, that's amazing for Page me. Page fifty-three. Do you can you listen? Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. That's what I want. Very good. So let's listen. Exercise eight. Conversation. Wedding day. Part A. Listen and practice. 
Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Hmm. Interesting, right? Oh my God! Look, Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Everybody will be like, wow, today. That's great. Ah. Oh, but we have um, a boy here, so no more girl theme. <laughs> but that's okay. So, hi, guys, did you listen to the conversation? So tell me, um, how did Miko describe her wedding? Does it have something in common with our place or with our country? Or no? Yes. For, so it, for yeah. example, Tanya? The ceremony is only family uh -huh. and close uh, friends. Okay. And, and the reception uh, of their family. Ah, okay. Very good. So it's similar as us, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Any other thing that is in common, Nati? Mm, only that. The, only that. The ceremony and the reception, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, similar to ours, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, well, it, it depends because right now uh, could be big reception or it could be a small reception. That depends, right? Or our budget or our, or the or the people that's going to get married, a decision, right? Uh, however, let me ask you, uh, did you listen to something that is different or is not common? I don't understand the gift. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, the gift. The gift for who? Aha. Okay, let me play it one more time and then we figure it out. Okay, okay, let me just one moment. Page 53, exercise 8. Conversation. Wedding day. Part A. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Uh-huh. So did you find something, uh, another thing in common? Rachel, Solmita, Nati, Salvi, I don't know. Yes, maybe the part when she said that the guests give speeches and sing songs. Exactly, yes. Because, uh, uh, well, you are not married, but you have attend to a wedding, right? If, right. for a close friend or for a family member, for a relative. So uh, sometimes there are people that stand up and say, hey, guys, congratulations, la, 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 and they're still talking. So basically, yes, there are something that's going. But um, this is really interesting because um, here in El Salvador, do we give presents to the um, closest friend and family? No. No. 
But what happened there, Nati, Rachel, Selvin, and Sulmita, what happened? That is really different. The bride and the groom give presents to the guest. Uh-huh. You're not supposed to be the opposite way. Well, actually they do, right? What do they give? Uh, what do the friends and family give to um, to the bride and the groom? What do they give to them? Uh huh. Tanya, could you could you listen? No. Can you listen to me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, do, did you understand what was the part that what which presents? does um, the bride and the groom receive from the friends and family? What is a present? What about you, Nati? Did, did you find, did you listen? Uh, they give money. Money, exactly, money. That's good, right? It would be nice, right, Tanya? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> money. <regalo> sobre. <laughs> exactly. Well, they use a lot, another type of money, right? But it will help us to pay the reception, right? Oh. I don't know, the honeymoon, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you see, there are different customs, right? Exactly. But the, the thing is, guys, since the bride and the groom keep presents to the family and to the friend, can you think about what is the present? Or what, what could be the present? It's really interesting, right? What is the present that the bride and the groom give to the rest of the people? What is it? What it is? Let's let's continue to listen to the conversation, okay? And figure it out. Bear with me for a moment. Salvin, good night. And also Rachel, good night. Good night. It's really great to have you here, guys. There you go. Okay, cool. So let me uh, share my screen. There you go. D3, exercise eight, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay, so guys, what is the gift that the bride and the groom gives to the family and friends? What is it, Rachel? Rachel, my girl, Rachel. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. That's okay. Uh, well, to be honest, mm -hmm. I didn't understand. You didn't understand. <laughs> okay, that's okay. No yeah. problem. Just um, I need to be confused about I, the the, I, the wearing. Aha! Uh -huh, I yeah. know. I, I, uh, she she is getting mm -hmm. married, right? Yes, exactly. Well, actually, she got married. Uh, and they are double checking the wedding album. Mm. Mm -hmm. So she was like uh, telling the story about that special day for her because she's from okay. Japan and they have a different customs there. Okay. So yeah, the last time she said that uh, it's really interesting, right, Rachel, because here in El Salvador, the people who's going to get married, they receive presents. They don't give mm -hmm. presents. But in Japan, yes. And it's a custom. And But did you figure it out what is exactly the gift that the bride and the groom give to the people? No? I don't know. Tanya? Nati? Sulmita? Selvin? No? A box filled with sweet. Exactly. They said that sugar in Japan is, um, is a symbol of happiness. So it was really a happy day for them. Of course, they're getting married. So they give a box to each uh, person that is uh, in the wedding uh, with plenty of candies. So it's, it's, a, it's a gift to them. So that presents their happiness. And they want it because the bride and the groom is really happy because of course it's a special day for them. They want to share their happiness 
with the family and the friends. That's why they give a box of with candies for each member that attends to the wedding. Is there, do you like that custom? Do you like it? Or no? <laughs> yes. what, what do you think? If you were in Japan, are you going to do that? Imagine that you're going to marry the Japanese guys. Yes. Well, well, not you, Rachel. Of course, and Tanya, no, no. I, oh. I said for Nati and for Sumita, <laughs> you are out of the box anymore. <laughs> also, Selby. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine Nati? Can you imagine Sumita? They have their own traditions, right? And we have to respect. There's a lot of things that we need to think, right? Because it's a totally different culture. But do you like that cu that custom to give uh, candies? This is really nice, right? Yeah. Especially if you love sweet things. I do. <laughs> but it's really hard, hard for my health, but that's okay. So, and besides that, uh, they have a specific uh, wedding dress. You know, it's totally different. So now, guys, what I'm going to do, I will share with you the dialogue, okay? I'm going to share the dialogue with you because I want you guys to practice. Practice the pronunciation and the intonation, okay? So bear with me for a moment. Let me share right now with you. There you go. I'm going to show you the picture first about these two girls, and then I'm going to send it to you, um, a dialogue. Okay, did you receive it, guys? Yes? Can you receive it? Yeah, okay. So you see, you have the two girls there. And they're talking about the wedding day for Emiko. So can you can you look girls on the on the lower picture on the other one, on the second one? That is the wedding day. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. What do you like about the dresses? Or you don't like the dresses? I don't like the dress. You don't like the dress? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Right, the uh, dress is, is too too big. <laughs> too big, too maybe heavy, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What about the broom? I mean, the guy who's going to get married, the groom. You know what? But if you see, guys, the girls are wearing a traditional kimono, right? And of course, and also the, the guy, I think is wearing a traditional for samurai thing, I think. But what about the rest? Are they wearing a traditional wedding or a dress or no? Yeah. The, no, there, there are another guys that are wearing what? What are the other guys wearing guys? Mm -hmm. They're the, wearing a suit. A suit, exactly, a suit. A tie, right? A tie, korabata, a tie. So it's different. And, and where is that place? Where is it? What? Where do you think they are? Uh huh. Is that the shrine that they made? Exactly, it's a shrine. A shrine, guys, is the name of the Japanese temple. Okay, it's a Japanese temple that when you get in and like pray to Buddha, right, or to to the people, to the um, per persons that they believed in. So the, the shrine is a temple. It's a temple of praying. Okay, so that's a new word for you, right? A shrine. Yeah. Okay, so you will be able to see now, guys, how you write that word because I want you to practice right now the conversation between these two girls. In this case, it's going to be a boy as well because Selvin is here with us. So let me check it out. Now let me send you the dialogue, girls. And then we're going to practice it. Okay, cool. I think you're ready to receive it. Is that correct? Yep. Yes, okay, sure. cool. All right. Yes. So we're going to practice. But first of all, let's practice together. 
the pronunciation. And then I will ask you guys to practice in, I think in, in pairs. And yes, in pairs will be, but I don't know. And also in self, but Selvin is not here. Oh yes, Selvin, are you here with us? I think he's playing with Malefic. <laughs> yes, I think so. Okay, so I think Selvin is going to be with me. Okay, so, but let's practice together, okay? Repeat after me. Okay, so let's start with Jill. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Your wedding picture, wedding picture, I read it for beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Those, Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes hide the ceremony. That's very, right. very good. That's interesting. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Were there a lot of people there? I don't listen to you, Rachel. Well, usually only family members and closest friends go to the ceremony. Usually, usually only, only family, family members, members and close friends, friends, friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, but afterward, afterward we had a reception with family and friends. We had a reception, had a reception with, family with family and friends. And friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? So what are the receptions like in Japan? Like in Japan. Very good. Uh, there is a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. There is a There's big, big dinner, dinner, and after, and after the, meal, the meal, the guests, the guests give guests. speeches or sing songs. Very good. It sounds like fun. It sounds like, like fun. fun. It really is. It really, it really is. is. And then, and then, and then, before the guests leave, before the guests before leave, the, guests the bride and the groom give them presents. The bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and the groom. Yes, yes and the and guests the give guests money to the bride and groom. Excellent job. So basically, let's pretend that you're going to be like, <laughs> okay, telling each other, right? Okay, Sulmita, let's pretend that you're, no, no, in this case, Rachel. Rachel, because you have a boyfriend. <laughs> so let's pretend that you're already married, right? And you all remember okay. your wedding date, right? Okay. <laughs> and you see, she's happy. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do right now, girls, is I'm going to, to split in groups, okay? You're going to be, uh, Sulmita, you're going to be with Rachel. And Tanya, you're going to be with uh, Nati. And of course, Selvin, you're going to be with me. <laughs> I lucky you, my man. Lucky you. No, no, I think he doesn't want to be with me. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna be with uh, with Sulmita and, and Rachel. Okay, you're gonna be the trio. This is what I want you to do, guys. I want you to practice to practice this conversation. Okay. And Selvin, you have to imagine uh, that you're right. that you remember your wearing day. Okay. Look at him, he's really happy. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, and that will help you a lot, okay? Tanya, also imagine that you are opening your wedding book and you are telling Natty, ah, this is my wedding day, okay? And it's like that, that is exactly the attitude. If you were to imagine that and it was really an amazing day, you will have so much fun. Okay, so let's practice this conversation, okay? And then we're going to get back together. Let's practice in uh, five minutes will be enough. Enough. Uh, please guys pay attention on the expressions. For example, really beautiful. That sounds nice. That sounds fun. And also the intonation of the questions, okay? Because we had two types of questions here. We had the double questions and we had the just no question there. So I'm going to evaluate a lot of things, right? Pronunciation, intonation, and also the speedness. Okay, so I know that you can do it. And you know, guys, guys, congratulations. You did an excellent job yesterday. 
on the 3.6 section. I'm so proud of you. Hello, yes, yeah, those are my boys. <laughs> yes, excellent. Okay, guys, so let me split it right now. Let me go ahead. Who's going to be with who? Okay, I said, um, mm -mm, let me check it out the sections. So it will be two sections, two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I said the first one is going to be Natty and Tanya. And then the second one I do have here, uh, Rachel, Salvin, and Solmita. Okay, cool. So I'm going to, uh, I've already sent you the invitation, girls and guys. So please accept it and I start practicing the conversation, okay? Okay, Salvin is there, right? Very good. Rachel. All right, so Mita, Nati. Okay, Nati is the only one missing. Okay, Nati, here we are. Uh huh. So try to do it, uh, Nati. Oh, Tani, sorry. As um, I don't know, as real as possible. <laughs> Yeah, for example, you can grab a book. It's supposed to be your, your wedding book, right? And you're start uh, talking about that because you're going to be, um, let me check, you're going to be Emiko and Nati is going to be Jill in this case, okay? Okay. So just practice and I'm going to double check the other guys. Okay, we're returning back to you guys. Okay, okay. Beautiful Emiko. Who? Me. Of course, yes. First, Salvin yes. is going to be Jill, and then Emiko is going to be Sulmita. And mm -hmm. then, uh, Rachel, you're going to be Jill, and Emiko is going to be Salvin, okay? Okay. Salvin is a married man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, continue, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? There is a big dinner. And after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give then present. The guests get present? Yes. And the guests give money to the priest and groom. Okay. Change. Okay, I listened. Oh. I'm just, <laughs> uh huh. I like, oh, okay, you see, the teacher was a ghost. Okay. <laughs> no, that just some pronunciation, guys. Nobia, it says bride. Bride. And novio is groom. 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 Bride and groom. Bride and groom. Exactly. And also, nah, Nati, you're like, that's so fun. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, she's happy about Emiko, I said. No, try to be like, oh, that's so fun. Like that, right? Okay. That you are impressed. I know that you're not impressed because you don't like that type of celebrations. <laughs> of course, not a traditional way in Japan, right? But try to like fake it. You know what fake yes. is? Okay, so try to do your best. Okay, okay. so <clears throat> talking about your weary day, SNR number two, action. Go ahead, I'm listening to you, girl. Okay. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes hide the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There is a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And then before the guests leave, 
the bride and groom keep them present. The guests get present? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Yeah, you fake it. Congratulations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but also, guys, there's only one word that we need to also continue pronouncing. Meal. M-E-A-L. Meal. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. because that is like um, breakfast and dinner. That is a meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's everything is okay. Let's double. Let's continue. Now, now you switch it. Okay. Let me okay. double check the other guys. Ceremony. What was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in the they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony, but afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what a reception like in Japan? There is a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, for the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. They get, they get the presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Now. Excellent, guys. Do you already practice? Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. I was listened. Okay. <laughs> Very good. How was Mr. Emiko uh, solving? Was it good? Mm -hmm. Hmm? What happened with, with the money? Do you remember? Bones. What happened? <laughs> your bone. Yeah. What happened with your bone? <laughs> Do you remember that special day, Mr. Selvin? That will never come back? No. This day. Yeah, your wedding day. Oh, I, mm. I forget that. I forgot. You <laughs> forget that. This day. Can you imagine, Rachel? Come I need, on. I need to, to remember watch the, his, my, his my big day. album pictures. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. I, That's a long time ago, right? I How only long remember have you been married? that I spend much money. And of course, it's worth it. <laughs> I was the ceremony in the uh, Iglesia. You had the ceremony. I have the ceremony in the Iglesia. In the church. Cristo Redentor. In the church. The church. Cristo Redentor. Exactly. Cristo Redentor. Ooh. And okay. then. How, how long ago? How long ago? And then uh, we have a uh, party say. in Centro de Creación Profesional. It's near to the Prolongación Juan Pablo II. No mm -hmm. idea, sir. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> no, no, of course. The... The um, uh, first lady mm -hmm. of Calderon Sol. Oh yeah, okay. Made this place. Ah. Uh, that was a long time ago, sir. Yes. Um. The food is good. Very. Was good. Very good. Um. Then the next day. Um. We went to the uh, Roatan. Oh, to Honduras. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. Roatan. That I was nice, right, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> and you, Rachel? No. I, Rachel is still. What, what is your plan? It, she's a still single. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to get married. Not but right now, she said. You get married. What is what do you think? I, I don't know because um 
I don't want to get married. I, I, I don't think it in in those things. <laughs> You're not thinking about that right now, you said. No, I don't okay. think about that. Uh -huh. Because it, it's so deep. You think it, we spend a lot of money in, in, in a wedding. <laughs> yes. See. <laughs> See? Girls in, aha, uh -huh. you have a girl thing, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, yeah, the teacher discovered us. Okay, that's okay, girls. So let's return back together, okay? Okay. Cool. Aha. Uh -huh. So how was the conversation? Was it good? Was it interesting? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me was giving some advice to Rachel <laughs> about the validation <laughs> of the stuff. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but take into consideration his advice. He's like older than you. He has more experience yeah. and everything. He's a man. Of so looks like a daddy, <laughs> right? A daddy. <laughs> you. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, there's a there's a expression here in El Salvador. Hopefully, I can say it correctly. If not, you can correct me because you are my Spanish teacher, guys. Um, I remember that there is like it says "pan para tu matata," right? <laughs> yeah. That means that uh, the advice that somebody give us is not a waste of time. You can just think about what they're saying and keep the advice and keep it because you don't know when you're going to need it and to use it in the future. So it's really important. I always, I always do that. And in my case, um, every time that I, that was like a, as, a, as a young girl, I, need, I was facing troubles or decisions that I had to make. I don't know why. But every time, I, maybe God uh, guide them, I don't know, but, but that might be the possibility. Uh, that's the only explanation that I have, <laughs> that um, every time that I had to make a decision, an old woman or an old man approached to me and they start talking about something. It's like, and I was thinking, why they are telling me that? How they, do they know that I was thinking or was passing to that situation? Well, but, and I listened and then I took all the advice and that's why I'm here and happily married, of course. So you see, so take those advices into consideration. It's like your daddy telling you the advices, okay? The advice, sorry, some advice because you cannot pluralize advices. You're gonna say advices. There are some advice like that. Very good. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Solvin. <laughs> Very good. Okay, who would like to participate first? Thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> With Sulmita, go ahead. Uh, so, Sulmita, you're going to be Jill, and Rachel is going to be a Miku. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, talking about my wedding day, <clears throat> scenario number one, action, please. Uh, your wedding, your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what a reception like in Japan? There's big dinner and after the meal, the kids give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the kids leave, the bride the bride and groom give them presents. They get good presents? Yes. And the guests and the guests give money to the bride and groom. 
Very good. Excellent. Good job. And also, very good, Solmita. Like, oh, it sounds like fun. Very good. I love, <laughs> I love that you got into the character. Just, just let's practice, guys, some um, pronunciation. For example, uh, that word that I send into the chat right now, that is in Spanish, invitados, right? So you pronounce it guests. Guests. Yes. Because if you said gets, that means like the is the verb get. So you got pronounced yes. guests. All right. And also you said uh, there's an expression that Jill said. So what are the receptions like? I didn't listen to like. So what the receptions are like in Japan? Okay, like the reception, like receptions. Like, and then well, there's another one. Let me check. Oh, yes. Fish. The guests give species. 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 It's like public talk, right? Like that. Okay. Very good. But then there was re oh, an Ara shrine. 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 Uh huh. Ara. Ara shrine. To all together. Ara, Ara shrine. shrine. Very good. Ara shrine. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, girls. <laughs> so let's listen to all the girls. Uh -huh. and, and the man will be at the end. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, because you said girls are first, right? Woman first. <laughs> so, Teacher. Okay. yes, Teacher. Selvin, go ahead. Guess yes. is the plural, is the plural the guest? Oh. No. When no. you said, for example, guest without the S, that means yeah. adivina que. Mm -hmm. But if you have to put S, those are invitados. Mm-hmm. The one that uh, that join you in the special days, so you, uh, you so you have to put the s at the end. If you do not put it, you are you are saying something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, Natty. But how how do you say guest for one in singular? A guest, a guest. Always with an s. With uh huh. Always, always, because if you say without the S, that means that you're you're saying, "Hey, guess what? Mm -hmm. Adivina que? Guess what? Yeah, guess what? Mm -hmm. So that's why I it has guess. to be with the S all the time. That's why I emphasize in the pronunciation. Very good, excellent. So now <laughs> let's listen, Miss Mary Woman Tanya, <clears throat> and Natty. Okay, let's listen to those girls. Your SNR is all yours, girls. Okay, uh, your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at, at a shine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close fa uh, friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? There is a big dinner. And after the meal, meal the guests give a speeches of sing song. It sounds like fun. <laughs> it really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Very good, very good. But you're continuing missing the S, guests. The guests. Yes. Yes, I need yes. to, uh, yeah, guests. Yes. And, yes. and also you said yes. give, give meal. Uh, also, there's a pronunciation that it needs to be like a little bit corrected, but you but you do a very good job, girls. Uh, for example, in Miko, when, when you said that, uh, Tanya, you said there is a big dinner and you have a, I know that, that apostrophe S is the contraction of is, you're right, but you have to pronounce it in a contraction way. So you said there's a, there's a big dinner. There's a big dinner. There's a big dinner. Uh -huh. Only that. And also sounds like fun. But never forget guests, please. Guests. 
Yeah, the bat's good. Excellent job, girls. Now, Mr. Sobin. Hi. You're going to be a Miko. <laughs> and yeah, I am a Miko. Of course, you're a Miko. A Miko is a Japan. Japanese. Yeah, you look like that, yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Sulmita, you're going Thank to you. be Jill. You're most <laughs> welcome. Okay, Sulmita, it's your turn, girl. I can hardly hear you, Sulmita, sorry. I am Jill, right? Yes, you're yes. Jill. Okay. The wedding picture is really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. I cannot hear you, Zulmita. Something happens with the internet, right? Don't where worry. Was the ceremony? Yes, where was the ceremony? She said. <laughs> that's a, that's amazing. At a train. <laughs> At a train. Where was the ceremony? At a train. Sure. When people no. get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony, the ceremony at a train. <laughs> yeah, he already answered you, Zulmita. Next, Sulmita. <laughs> no, she has a bad uh, problems right now with that with the uh, internet. Just fix Continue, it. Continue, please. That's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Okay. Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But after war, we had a reception with family and friends. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Net, Sulmita. <laughs> Come on, Sulmita, wait. <laughs> yes, we can hear you, Sulmita. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. So, what are reception like in Japan? Okay, Amiko. There's a big dinner and after the meal the guests give yeah, the speeches so or sing a song like very good continue send the miko continue yeah he already answered now is your turn it's like it fun very okay. good it's really is and then before the guest leave the bride the bridge the bride. Grown, <laughs> the bridge and grown. The bride. Give them present, bride and grown. Give them present. The guests get presents. Yes. And the guests get money to the bride and grown. Excellent, Joe. Bride, because the bridge is plenty. And they get a little money. Get a little money. Come on, Zobe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's really interesting. Now, guys, tomorrow you will know why I make you practice this dialogue. Because okay. it's for a reason, okay? It's for okay. a reason. It's not because okay. I... Well, and of course, we need to like uh, try to sound more natural, right? Not speed it. I know, but it's really, really nice. I'm so happy, guys. You made a really good job today. And also, Selvin and Tanya remember that special day, right? Yeah. Special day. <laughs> yes, so be a special day. day. I remember. I remember. <laughs> for me, it was really special day. I was really young, you know. And you, and you, teacher. I'm you so remember? happy. Yes, always. of course, always, sir. And uh, always. Too. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh, I remember that it was the July the seventh, my anniversary. July. July the seventh. Yeah. Uh, this year I... we're going to be 15 years together that's a whole journey i was 24 years old when i got married really young teacher yes oh. the, the man of my 24 life years. yeah 24 years old i was really young yeah 
He was 33, I, I think. Yes. I have 18. So three years older than me. That's good. That's not yours. Yes. And I'm so happy. I have <laughs> Dewey. You have Dewey. But, uh, but it... <laughs> yes, Dewey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what, Sulmita? Teacher, but it's, it's really difficult to keep the passion and the, the control when you get married, right? Yes, of course, it changes because do you have to remember that there are joint of two people that comes for different uh, social, maybe social status, maybe had a different education different likes, right? And everything, of course. But there should be some things in common, right? And especially goals that we need to reach. So if everybody plays their role in the family that we're supposed to be, and of course, of course, uh, you let God guide you, there will be, will be ups and downs. You can ask something. <laughs> yeah, because we are not perfect. <laughs> that, that thing is that it's if very you have, hard that if you have a commitment very hard <laughs> that if you have a commitment and willing to continue please you know, don't do it <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what i can i can um finish this class with a phrase that i really loved and i read in the book a really special book that they said um a, a couple or a really happy couple are the join of two people that can forgive each other. That is really amazing. And I like it because you're not perfect. You make mistakes, the other part makes mistakes. So if you're willing to continue and phase it up, all the challenges that comes in their life and love that person, you will have a commitment, you will continue with that. I, I, I feel like Shakespeare today. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> okay. well, you know, they were about like, wow, sure, what a poetry. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, but what I said is true. Okay, what I said is true. But I, I, everybody was like, <laughs> oh, you see, Tanya, hey, you broke my heart. <laughs> okay, I love you so much, guys. And it was really fun today's class, right? It's a really amazing and interesting topic, by the way. Okay, guys. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, you see yourself in his laughing by heart. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow, girls and guys. Bye. 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 B